Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you all of my current summer favorites. We have everything from sandals, beach cover-ups, sunscreen, self-tanner, all different types of stuff. So let's get started. So we're gonna go in complete random order. Starting off is the Copper Tone. This is the Glow Shimmer SPF of 30. I love this stuff. First of all, I just love Copper Tone sunscreen in general. I feel like it's not like sticky. You know how sometimes you put on sunscreens and it's just gross and sticky? So this is kind of interesting. As you spray it, it is a spray on, almost like a foam, and it gives you a nice like bronzy, but I wouldn't say like a lot of color, but definitely a tint and a lot of like just shimmer and glitter and it makes your skin look so nice. I don't put this on my face, but I do love it for like my chest, my arms and the rest of my body. And what I also love about this is if you're going out at night, and you're wearing like a tube top or even something like this, and you just want to put on something that has a shimmer with a tint, this totally works perfect for that as well. So it is free of oxybenzone, PABA and phthalates. It is water resistant. 80 minutes and I will put the ingredients up on the screen so you can check it out. They also have this in a lotion form. So if you're not crazy on the aerosol spray, check out the lotion. I got it right at Target, but you can get it like Amazon, Walmart, whatever. Love that stuff. Definitely recommend checking it out if you want a more fun sunscreen. So next up is my favorite lip balm that has SPF in it. This is the Blistex five star protection. It is an SPF of 30. It is just a clear lip balm, nothing fancy at all, but it smells amazing. And I'll tell you that my bottom lip for some reason gets fried in the sun. Like last summer, it was so swollen and just zinc, nothing was working. I started using this and I don't know why, like it's just regular Blistex. You would think that zinc would work better but I have not gotten a sunburn on my lips at all. And I apply this like every half hour or so, and it just works so well. So if you're looking for a really good sun bomb, I keep one in my car, keep one in my purse and my beach bag, and it smells great. I just put it on and then sometimes I'll put like a lip gloss or a lip liner over it if I wanna give myself a little bit of color. And it smells a little bit sweet, but it's not too sweet. Like I wanna say it's like a cotton candy, but it's not. I don't know, but it has a really lovely scent in my opinion. Next up are some self tanners. So if you've been watching this channel a while or if you've seen any of my tanning videos, you know I love to mix Loving Tan and Saint Tropez. Typically I just do the regular version of the Saint Tropez, but this is a whipped marshmallow limited edition and it just smells so good. Aside from that, it is exactly the same, like performs the same as a regular Saint Tropez. And for the Loving Tan, I prefer the Ultra Dark. So I like to mix these together. And the reason being is because I feel like Loving Tan is obviously it's darker and it has a little bit better staying power because it is a more dry formula. Whereas the Saint Tropez, I feel like is a little bit more sticky, but it's more emollient and moisturizing. So I feel like I get a really good blend and I don't get any patchiness, no like demarcation on the side of my wrists or into my fingers and my feet, like all the tough spots, like around your ankles, your knees. I find that when I mix these together, I'm able to get the best, like most natural looking even tan possible. I will put up above in the cards, my self tanning playlist where I go through and give you all my tips and tricks and do the demo in the whole nine. But these are always a staple every summer for my tanning. I get to the beach as much as I can or just sitting outside in the pool. But when I don't have the time, love mixing these two. They are my go-to. So this beach cover up, I got off of Amazon. It's like a crochet, I wanna say. It's hard for me to show you in this camera, but I will insert a clip of me wearing it. They have other colors and stuff right off of Amazon. I think it's a one size fits all, but if you're looking for a really cute cover up that's versatile, definitely check out Amazon. They have some awesome stuff. Next up are these sandals. So these are Reef. I feel like I'm back to my teenage years with the little platform. They have these in the black, which I have here, white and tan. I'll put pictures up on the screen. So comfortable, they're like the cork. So cute, go with everything. Had to mention these because I've been wearing them nonstop and loving them. 
look super cute with like a beach cover up and they also look good with jeans if you want to get a little bit more dressed up. I can't mention summer favorites without talking about some sunscreen. So I am always on the hunt for the best face sunscreens. I just ordered this pack from Paulish Choice and I don't know if it was like limited edition on their website. I think it's still up. I'll put the link down below, but you get, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sample sizes of all of their different face products with SPF. So comes with the Paula's Choice. This is the super light wrinkle defense and it is an SPF of 30. Tried this, loving it. Also comes with the Youth Extended Daily Hydrating Fluid, which also has SPF in it. And I've been really loving this as well. It's more of like a serum. So when I first squirted it out, it has like one of these types of caps rather than like the normal sunscreen. It kind of squirted everywhere, but I have been trying them all because I am looking for my next staple sunscreen. This I haven't tried yet, but this is the Calm Mineral Moisturizer. So I'm guessing it's more of just like mineral. So if you don't want a chemical sunscreen, this might be a good option for you. This one is the Clear Ultra Light Daily Hydrating Fluid with an SPF of 30. It has antioxidants in it. And this one is best for blemish prone skin. So that might be a good choice for you if you are more prone to breaking out, especially in the summer. This I love, this is the Skin Restoring Moisturizer with an SPF of 50, has antioxidants. It says it's silky, cream, hydrates skin. Even skin tone helps prevent UV damage and signs of aging. I've been wearing this the past two days. It's in the running next to my current favorite from Paula's Choice, which is the Essential Glow Moisturizer. This is an SPF of 30. It has Kiwi and Licorice instantly illuminates and hydrates, which I will say it's definitely like more of a glowy sunscreen or moisturizer with a sunscreen and it's a creamy texture. So I already had this and I love it, but I'll just show you this is the full size and then this is the mini. So this is great if you're not sure what you like. I love Paul's Choice. I think that they have outstanding sunscreens, products in general. I don't feel like when I put them on, it feels like it's a sunscreen. It feels like it's skincare. They layer great under makeup. You're not gonna be dealing with pilling or anything like that. And it's not highly fragrant, which is nice. It's a little bit on the pricier side, but I think totally worth it to find a really good sunscreen, something that agrees with your skin. It's protecting your skin. It's not greasy. It looks good under makeup. It's kind of hard to find, so I will spend a little bit more. Another sunscreen option that I've been loving is the e.l.f. Skin. This is the Woe Glow. I've talked about this before. This is the Sun Touchable. It's been duped a lot or compared to with the Super Goop and it's infused with hydrating aloe, hyaluronic acid, squalene, lightweight, SPF of 30. It does provide a very glowing complexion. I'm not sure how this works if you have oily skin or if you're gonna be sweating a lot. It does look beautiful under makeup. I do like wearing it to the beach if I'm looking for more of like a glow or if I wanna do like a liquid bronzer or some blush and then put this under it. It looks just so nice, like your skin is glowing. So I have really been enjoying this as well. So these are kind of funny. I got this for a Mother's Day gift, I wanna say and it looks like it's headphones, but it's actually a fan. So you put it on like this and it's pretty powerful. So I'll put it on for a minute so you can hear it. That's the quiet setting. If you just wanna be at the pool or the beach, or even if you're on an airplane, like this would be perfect for that. And then you kick it up a notch. You can hear it's a little bit louder. And then that's the full power. I love it. I think it's great. Got another pair in black for my husband or my kids or whoever wants to wear it. We've been bringing it with us to the beach. Great for those hot days. Funny because it looks like headphones, but it's not. Bucket hats. Love these for the pool. Love these for the beach. The hat with a pair of sunglasses and you're shaded. You can read your book. You can be on your phone or whatever you want to do. The sun's out of your eyes and you're protecting yourself from the sun. So I can't really put it on too well right now because I have a bun, but this is Billabong. It is so cute. I love this. I've been wearing it all the time. I never thought that I would wear a bucket hat, but 
very comfortable. My thing is with like the regular baseball cap. Don't want anything too tight. And when I have my sunglasses on, it tends to irritate me and give me a headache. So this is super lightweight, so pretty. So that is everything for this video. Again, everything will be linked down below. I hope you guys like this. Drop your favorites down below, especially anything SPF or skincare related for summer. Let me know what your favorites are and I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.